Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem is consider an autosomal gene with four alleles A1, A2, A3 and A4 with respective frequencies of 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3 and 0, 4. Calculate the expected genotype frequencies for a deployed population with random mating. If you know how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And if you think that this is difficult problem, this is actually not. If you can build a Punnett square for two alleles, for example, uh, such Punnett square where uh, in simple Mendelian genetics we have two alleles. One would be dominant allele or capital allele uh, A, another one would be recessive allele or small a. The same principles are applied here in order to solve our problem. So instead of a square with two by two alleles, here we have four alleles. So we have to list uh, these alleles on the top and on the side. So we have alleles A1, A2, A3 and A4. And on the side we have to list the same alleles in order to find all the combinations, so A1, A2, A3 and A4 and now we build a Punnett square and this is going to be a square with four rows and four columns that would give us a total 16 cells and also, in order to solve this problem, we have to uh, list uh, frequencies of each allele. For example, frequency of the allele A1 is 0 0.1, so this is going to be 0 0.1 here. Frequency of the A2 allele would be 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 here. Frequency of the A3 allele would be 0 0.3. So this is going to be 0 0.3 here and frequency of the A4 allele is 0 0.4. And the same frequencies we list for the alleles on the side 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. Now we can find all the possible combinations and their frequencies. For example, for the combination of the allele A1 and A1, uh, the frequency would be, we have to multiply 0 0.1 by 0 0.1. So the answer would be that frequency of uh, such combination would be 0 0.01. And if we multiply uh, frequency of the allele A2, that is 0 0.2, by the frequency of the allele A1, so this is going to be combination uh, A1, A2 and the answer would be 0 0.02. Next we have 0 0.03 and then 0 0.04 and I also want to add that uh, now we list um, all the frequencies on the scale between 0 and 1 and 1 equals to 100 percent. So we can say that uh, instead of uh, frequency 0 0.1 that this is 10 percent and frequency of the A2 allele is 20 percent and frequency of the A3 allele uh, 30 percent and 40 percent for A4. If we combine all these frequencies, we are going to get 100%. So these four alleles in the gene pool represent 100% of all the alleles and their frequencies. So um, next column would be we have to multiply frequency of the A1 allele with frequency of the A2 allele. So this is going to be 0.02. 0 0.04 here, 0 0.06 here, and 0 0.08 here. We have done 
and here we have 0 0.03, 0 0.06, 0 0.09 and 0 0.12 here, 0 0.04 here, 0 0.08 here, 0 0.12 here and 0 0.16 here. And I also want you to pay attention that uh, these combinations that is here in the middle would be unique and um, combinations that is um, on both sides would repeat. For example, as you see here we have combination of uh, allele A1 and A2 but here we also have uh, the same combination that is A1, A2. So uh, you have to understand that the frequency of the allele A1, A2 would be not 0 0.02, but we have to combine these two numbers because combination A1, A2 equals to combination of A2. 2a1 because in the cell in the nucleus there is not such thing as uh, left and right top and bottom uh, front and back so if two alleles are present a1 and a2 this would be the same no matter what uh, the order in our table all the frequencies that is below for example here uh, the frequency of the allele A2 and A3. Also we have A3 and A2 here. So only this row would be unique. And uh, all this table, if we combine all the numbers, we would get 1. Or if we multiply all the numbers by 100, when we combine all these numbers, we are going to get 100%. I hope this video will be interesting to you. And uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.